Hey everybody, um, just a quick video log. Uh, well, I made it. Here I am, uh, Port Moresby, the capital city of Papua New Guinea, and uh, finally made it. Got here uh, like a day and a half ago or something like that. All the days are blending in and stuff. It has not been a good trip at all. In fact, it's been one of the worst trips of my life. Um, it's extremely expensive here. Cell phone use is very hard. Uh, even, you know, calling from hotel to hotel, you know, uh, drop calls all the time, <clears throat> mobile phones and all that. Internet is ridiculous here. I mean, internet is real hard to get here and it's real slow and it's expensive. You get these little cards with username and password and you take those cards and you log on and those cards are expensive. So the internet is expensive. Anyways, this has just been a very disappointing trip and I'm just waiting to get out of here. I really am waiting to get out of here. Uh, Monday, I'm supposed to fly out Monday afternoon. And, uh, well, uh, here in Port Moresby, I did, you know, go around a little bit. Uh, I met this guy here, and he's a, he's a local and stuff. He's a local surfer, really nice guy, Andy. And he drove me around a little bit to see Port Moresby, but he said 65% of the city we can't, we don't even want to drive down into. We don't even want to go down there. There's nothing there. It's the same thing. It's just graffiti, trash, crime uh, during the day, and it gets, you know, a hundred times worse at night. And this is definitely the city where you just don't go out at night here. You stay in your hotel, you stay here at your hotel bar, restaurant, whatever, and go swimming. You just don't go out at night. Um, that That's absolutely true. So, well, check out my hotel. It's, it's pretty nice. It's called the Gateway. And, uh, there's the airport right straight back there is the airport. Most hotels are right near the airport because there's just no reason to have nice hotels downtown because it is just crap. <coughs> One of the worst cities I've ever been in. Maybe the worst. So and there's the front gate right there. Every hotel has gates like that. Every hotel it has guards and gates. And, uh, yeah, and you can look across right there. People just hanging out, trying to sell their crap. And, uh, yeah. You know, I had really high hopes about Papua New Guinea. Uh, I did hear it was a little expensive, but no, it's a lot expensive. And,. I'm just real disappointed because I can't take a tour into the jungle because right now a lot of the tribes are fighting each other right now and all tours have been canceled. Every tour into the jungles have been canceled uh, from here, from Port Moresby. So that's it. I won't be able to see any, you know, any uh, traditional houses or anything like that. So I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm real disappointed about that. But uh, here, here's the other part. There's the barbed wire, right? The barbed wire, uh, right there. And yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> so I just gotta hang out here for another, <coughs> another two days. Uh, it's not too bad. I'll just chill out, do my own thing here at the hotel, meet some people. A lot of white people here. You know, a lot of a lot of Australians and Kiwis here. Um, I've already talked to a bunch of them, and there's a really good pizza place right here. 
I smashed a couple pizzas already. I'm gonna go have one again right now. Because the other stuff they have here is just not really good. But anyways, so I don't really know what else to say, you know. I just had high hopes for this trip. And now it's just been an expensive nightmare. So anyways, so I'm gonna hang out here for him. Oh yeah, and it's even though it is cloudy and stuff, it's like 110 degrees right now. 100% humidity. So I really need to get back inside. Anyways, alright. Bye.